Cockroach! Cockroach! Jeez, these things can move. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, disgusting. I hate these things. Get him, he's right there. Why are cockroaches so hard to get rid of? Oh, there it goes. We spend millions of dollars every year trying to exterminate them, and yet they're still here. Why? The cockroach has been around for 350 million years. For most of this time, it was strictly a tropical creature. Then we came along and unwittingly recreated its favorite tropical environment right in our homes. It's warm and moist all year round. There's plenty of food. There are countless cracks and crevices to hide in. To a cockroach, this is paradise. Roaches breed like crazy in their favorite setting. A single female cockroach could theoretically give rise to 40 million offspring in her two-year lifespan. It's hard to tell how many you've got living with you because they're so good at hiding. But the general rule is, for every roach you spot in the open, there's probably another hundred or more hiding in your walls. So what's the first thing people do when they see a roach? There he goes. I see ya. I see ya. They try and stomp on it. But this is easier said than done. The cockroach is equipped with an early warning system. Two pegs sticking out of the roach's butt are sensitive to the slightest motion of the air. They detect the movement of Mike's foot and order the roach's legs into action. By the time Mike's foot hits the floor, the roach is long gone. A roach can cover a distance equaling 50 of its own body length in one second. You or I would have to run over 300 kilometers an hour to do that. Ugh, I lost it in the crack. A roach can easily slip into a crack no thicker than a dime. Nope, you won't get rid of these guys by trying to stomp on them. I thought you said you're going to help me clean up, you know, get rid of some of these roaches. I figure you should start in the bathroom. All right, all right. It's a commonly held belief that roaches are a sign of filth and dirt. So many people try and keep their homes spotless in an attempt to get rid of them. Good luck. First of all, roaches have a keen sense of smell. They smell with their feelers. And if there's any food at all around, they'll find it. And they're not finicky eaters. They'll eat toothpaste, hand lotion, the starch from your shirt. The glue from a postage stamp could keep a cockroach alive for weeks. They're also cannibals. They'll eat their dead roach friends without a second thought. There have even been a few reported cases of them gnawing on people's eyelashes while they slept. <coughs> It doesn't matter how clean you keep your house. It's just about impossible for a human to starve a roach. About all you can hope to do is keep the population down. All right, you roaches. Uncle Mike, you've got a little snack for you. Why don't you chew on this? <laughs> I see Mike's gotten a hold of some roach traps. You can get them in any hardware store. Inside each disc, there's a substance that roaches find irresistible. The concept is simple. Roach enticed into trap by bait. Roach eats bait laced with poison. Roach lives just long enough to carry the substance back to the nest and poison all his buddies. At least, that's how it's supposed to work. The only problem is, roaches don't live in nests like some other insects. Wasps, for example, are easier to exterminate because they live closely together in one central nest. But roaches are loners, and therefore they don't poison each other quite so readily. Way to get a taste of this, I you little... I to break it to Mike, but to get rid of roaches completely, we'll probably have to resort to something more drastic. When all else 
failed, people have traditionally resorted to spraying insecticides. This stuff does kill roaches, but unfortunately kills everything else in sight. You'll be thrilled to know that while you're ingesting this stuff, your roach friends are probably safe and sound at your neighbor's place. Well, at least that's the case if you live in an apartment building, where roaches easily travel through the walls from one apartment to the next. But they'll be back as soon as the coast is clear. Then you'll have to spray again. And again. And again. Eventually, they become immune. There are always a few roaches in the general population that have a resistance to the chemical you're using. Those roaches will go on to produce a population of super roaches, who are all resistant. You can spray them with insecticides till you're blue in the face, and it won't do a thing. At this point, we've pretty much run out of options. Let's face it, cockroaches have been here long before us. They'll probably be here long after we're gone. Maybe for the sake of our sanity, we should just try and get along with them. Here, want some? They're your favorite, sour cream and onion. Go on, touch them. Promise, I didn't poison them. Come on. You'll love it. Trust me.